healthy oranges, health information. Because the belly is our center of mass, our bodies are designed to store fat there. Hips and love handles. Storing pounds of fat on more distal parts like your hands and feet would need a lot more energy to carry around and to do the things that we need to do on a daily basis to survive, and there is a very solid explanation for this. We can see that our center of mass gives us the leverage we need to carry heavy weight loads without expending ton of energy in sports like wrestling and judo. We can see that this defeats the whole biological purpose of storing fat to begin with which is essentially your body trying to stock up on energy in the form of body fat in case of a future famine, where there's a shortage of food or, in other words, a shortage of energy. So your tummy is one of the first places to gain weight when you overeat. Unfortunately, even though your body is programmed to see this as a very efficient strategy, carrying a lot of fat around your middle is not only unhealthily dangerous, the stomach area is typically the last place most people want to accumulate fat. Now, even though your body stores fat around your stomach quickly, it's reluctant to release it and is typically one of the last areas to receive fat removal. Therefore, before your body starts drawing energy from the fat stored around your core, you need to reduce your overall body fat percentage to a level that will allow your body to burn the fat stored elsewhere. Diet is primarily used to achieve this. Therefore, a lot of people adhere to tight diets, which are harder and harder to follow the longer you try. In order to help you start losing body fat and belly fat as soon as possible without putting yourself through unnecessary hardship, I'm going to provide you guys 14 fast tips today. Limiting the quantity of high sugar foods you consume is the first and most effective thing you can do. When you regularly consume foods like cookies, ice cream, and cake, sugar not only tastes delicious in the moment but also makes you want more of it in the future. In fact, you end up making your palate less sensitive which results in fruit and other naturally healthy sources of sugar tasting far less sweet and satisfying. Studies have also demonstrated a connection between higher amounts of belly fat and a high sugar intake. This is because sugar increases insulin levels, a hormone that promotes fat storage and lowers insulin sensitivity. This does not imply that you should never indulge in sweets. At the end of the week, you can treat yourself to something sweet like ice cream, but it shouldn't form a regular part of your diet during the week. To fulfill your sweet taste, you should instead try to stick to fruit. Next, when you go shopping, you should generally avoid the inside aisles and stick to the outside perimeter of the grocery store. So this also applies to your produce section, seafood, meat, eggs, and some dairy products. This is because the processed foods that raise insulin levels, add calories to your daily intake, and, of course, encourage the storage of belly fat are typically found in the inner aisles. However, there are some items in the inner aisles, such as rice, quinoa, and nuts, that can genuinely fill up your stomach and aid in body fat reduction aside from high sugar cereals, chips, and cookies. As a result, you should choose primarily foods with one ingredient when you do enter the inner aisles. These foods have a low caloric density, which indicates that despite the area they occupy in your stomach, they only contribute a little number of calories to your daily intake. The comparison of Oreos to something like vegetables is a prime illustration of this. For the same number of calories, one Oreo has 40 calories, the majority of which are in the form of sugar. You can have an entire cup of broccoli to fill your stomach. Additionally, since foods with only one ingredient require more calories to digest, the Oreo will rapidly and effortlessly be converted into simple sugar. In the meantime, the energy required to break down the broccoli will increase, lowering the overall number of calories you consume. When contrasting many other items, such as white bread and brown rice, for instance, we can repeatedly observe this. So a general rule of thumb is to stick to whole, unprocessed, naturally occurring, single ingredient foods. Next, watch out for added sugar even in the outside perimeter of your grocery store. You notice things that appear to be healthy, like smoothies and juices, when in reality they're only going to help you store body fat rather than lose it, such as these foods. This is due to the fact that when you look closely at these meals and beverages that are touted as being healthy, you'll discover that they are packed with a ton of substances to help preserve the products and are particularly loaded with added sugar to make them more appetizing. Making a smoothie from scratch on your own is more preferable if you want something similar to a natural smoothie. All you need to do is combine some fruits, veggies, and water in a blender. This is not only healthy, but it will also encourage you to drink more water throughout the day, which brings us to our next point about drinking more water. Most people who are trying to lose weight now believe that water can help with weight loss and fat loss. 
As a result, people make an effort to drink lots of water all day. Many of these same individuals will still eat often throughout the day. On high sugar, high fat items like trail mix, they will still make sure to drink their recommended 888 ounce glasses of water today. The reality is that water does not possess a magical quality that considerably boosts fat reduction. Although it will significantly increase your metabolism, you will only burn about 50 calories a day as a result, and perhaps even closer to 100 if you just drink cold water. For those of you who often consume juices and sodas, adhering to simply drinking water is a terrific advice because it can save you from ingesting hundreds of unnecessary calories in the form of sugar. Water is one of the healthiest drinks you can consume since it helps your body transport nutrients from the food you eat. You should also immediately increase your protein intake. Studies have shown that protein helps you feel full and decreases hunger if it is currently low. The fact that protein requires a lot more energy to break down than carbohydrates and lipids is another benefit for fat loss. Therefore, eating a diet high in protein will enhance your metabolism and help you burn an additional 100 or more calories each day, in addition to being wonderful for muscle growth. According to the research, eating too much protein won't necessarily provide you with any additional benefits. Around 0.72.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight is required to produce the greatest impact on muscle growth. Even though eating more than that won't necessarily hinder your efforts to lose weight, it may make it harder for you to follow your nutrition plan because it will limit how much carbohydrates and fats you may consume each day. Therefore, I advise consuming no more than 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight each day, with the remaining calories coming from carbohydrates or fats. As I've already said, while you can burn belly fat, it will take some time for your body to burn off fat from other areas as well, so you'll need to be persistent for a while before you start to see the stubborn belly fat decrease. It's crucial that you abide by the next straightforward guideline for making healthy meals delicious. Any diet that forces you to consume foods you detest or prepare them blandly. A bland strategy is doomed to failure. Don't be hesitant to season your food with enough seasonings, spices, and olive oil to make it taste wonderful. One drop of oil on the frying pan may save you a few calories in the short run, but heavy restriction will ultimately result in a binge and failure in the long run. Similar to enhancing the flavor of healthy meals. The second piece of advice is to occasionally treat yourself to an inexpensive supper, but only after you've had a full meal. You can carry out this action before dining out or before consuming a cheat meal. Even at home, if you eat a small meal high in protein and vegetables before indulging in your cravings, it will help quell your hunger and help you avoid consuming a lot of calories without exerting much control. Even if you don't have time to prepare a whole meal, blending up some fruits and veggies and eating it before your cheat meal will suffice. The next step is to avoid drinking too much. Since the liver is where fat is processed, you want it to be free to break down fat rather than being consumed by the digestion of alcohol. But when you drink alcohol, exactly the opposite occurs. Your body substantially slows down the breakdown of fat in order to put getting the alcohol out of your system first. Your attempts to lose weight will be harmed by some alcoholic beverages. For instance, excessive beer and wine consumption can spike your blood sugar levels just as much as drinking diet soda. If you're going to drink, stick to clear liquors like tequila, vodka, and rum. Additionally, select a calorie-free beverage if you wish to mix a drink or use a chaser. The next piece of advice is to consume more soluble fiber because it curbs appetite. In order to help you feel fuller for longer, it slows down the digestion of the food you eat. For those of you who are hesitant to include even healthy carbs like oats, great sources of soluble fiber include avocados, Brussels sprouts, and oatmeal. In the long run, remember that reducing your caloric intake organically by boosting satiety rather than imposing constraints is much more likely to result in a successful conclusion if you consistently feel full and satisfied. The right kind of exercise, in particular weight training, will enable you to burn more calories, build more muscle, which will increase your metabolism, and increase your insulin sensitivity, which will once again be great for fat loss. However, even though the majority of your belly fat will be burned through diet, the right kind of exercise can really help speed things up and it can help you maintain your results when you're done. Additionally, weight exercise will deplete your body's glycogen reserves, leaving you with more room for carbs as your body will use those carbohydrates to restore the glycogen in your muscles and liver rather than your fat cells. 
Making sure you receive adequate sleep is another critical action to take because it is essential for your muscles. Your muscles expand as you sleep and rest, which helps you heal. Sleeping enough promotes hormone balance, however not getting enough causes cortisol to rise and testosterone to fall, which encourages fat storage and muscle loss. To guarantee that your body is ready for muscle growth and fat reduction, try to get at least 6 to 7 hours of sleep each night. Once your nutrition and weight training are under control, you may add some hit to help you lose fat even more quickly. This should only be done if your diet and exercise are insufficient to break through a plateau. If you don't want to change your diet and wish to maintain your current calorie intake, by including one 15-minute high-intensity interval training session per week, you can burn a few additional calories. Exercises for the entire body that raise your heart rate should be included in this session. Like rope slams, squat leaps, and burpees. The idea is to exert your maximum effort for a little period of time, say, 45 to 6 seconds, followed by a brief rest during which you take 30 to 60 seconds off. Repeat this process continuously for 15 minutes. These total body aerobic exercises are a fantastic method to burn a lot of calories quickly without risking muscle loss. The final piece of advice for today is to organize your diet such that you may eat less without feeling restricted or hungry. While intermittent fasting can be quite successful for fat loss without requiring you to eat continuously or restrict the amount of your meals, for some of you, this may mean that you fast for the majority of the day and have a few heavy meals. A great deal. The drawback is that you must go for at least 16 hours each day without eating. Therefore, while this might be effective for some, it won't be for everyone. Others might do much better by managing their hunger with frequent modest meals. Keep in mind that how many times you eat throughout the day doesn't significantly affect how much fat you burn. Select the strategy that works best for you. These are the 14 tips you can utilize to start decreasing abdominal fat without putting yourself under unreasonable constraints. By adhering to these straightforward recommendations, you will be able to maintain a healthy eating regimen for longer, which will eventually enable you to burn off the fat deposits around your abdomen. So far, we've looked at 14 easy ways to lose belly fat. There are more videos on my channel regarding fitness, health, and food, and I would appreciate it if you could view them together. Thanks for watching.